Israeli guards quietly occupied two purchased residential buildings in a Palestinian district of East Jerusalem on Monday, expanding a Jewish settler project in defiance of United States criticism. A previous move on September 30 by settlers into homes bought in the Silwan neighborhood, in an area captured by Israel in the 1967 war, coincided with a United States visit by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Drew White House condemnation. Hoping to cement Israel's claim on all of Jerusalem, far-right Jews have been paying top dollar for Silwan properties, often through Arab middlemen to circumvent Palestinian taboos on such sales. An estimated 500 settlers, armed or protected by paramilitary police, live in Silwan among 50,000 Palestinians. Israel's claim to all of Jerusalem as its capital is not recognized internationally. In an apparent bid to stave off fresh scrutiny and possible confrontations, Monday's Israeli arrivals slipped in by night and holed up in the two buildings whose ten apartments, Palestinian says, had been vacant for months after being sold through a local intermediary who had since absconded. Neighbors were aghast to learn the new owners were Jews. I sometimes go up on my roof without my hijab, but how can I do that now? They'll look at me. Muslims know not to do so exclaimed Amadel Karak, a matriarch in her 70s, from her balcony abutting one of the new Israeli-held properties. Three young Israeli men smiled wordlessly from a barred window next door. Four others, pistol bulges under their windbreakers, could be seen through the door of the second building, a five-minute walk away through the warren of homes clinging to a ravine over the biblical Siloam pool.